Hi, I'm Deb Smucker. I'm a factory representative for the Lux Fifth Wheels and Toy Haulers. And I wanted to come out today to show you a 44FL, uh, one of our most popular floor plans. This one has, uh, it's going to deliver this afternoon actually, and it has some unique features in it. We wanted to show it to you as seeing some of the tailored items that we can do in our coaches. So this coach would normally have a love seat uh, theater seat sitting here. They chose to do two recliners. They did them especially to fit them. So I call it the mama bear, papa bear recliners that they had put in, but we could have them done in matching colors. They also did one um, jackknife sofa on this side. Um, and this will, uh, the arms will come off and it lays down, makes into a bed if you need it to be. But they opted to take out the one that was on this side. Normally there would be opposing jackknife sofas and they wanted more storage. They wanted this to be a place they could set pictures where they could maybe set printers, that type of thing. Uh, kind of like a buffet storage or a desk storage up here. So this has gotten to be a very popular item as well. And you can do it in either slide if you'd like to. To give you more storage, we've done it where it can have a pullout uh, where one of the drawers are so it can work as a kind of a desk. So there's some different features there that we can do. We wanted you to see one that was already done. And of course, the front features the big picture TV, the fireplace. There's cabinet storage on each side. And some of these can be tailored a little bit. We have uh, been known to put shelves in here so that you can get extra storage in these cabinets as well. We also, as you can tell, we're on the top deck of the coach. So we are six and a half foot tall. So we have plenty of room up here, except for you really tall guys, but it's still, most of them can stand up here and stand under the ceiling. Um, and we have on occasions taken this out for some of us, some of our couples that he's taller, so we've taken this out. But you still have a lot of headroom up here. Another feature that you can see is that you see that we have V-trunk cabinetry down here and they chose to use Brazilian up here. So they actually did a transition um, going from beachfront to Brazilian that they asked for. They did the solid wood balances and uh, the side panels uh, to protect and to hide the roller shades. So the roller shades come down. Uh, that's what the side panels are to, to protect it and give you more privacy over here. But they wanted all wood. They didn't want balances that had uh, cloth or had curtains to them. So that's an option that we have out there as well that you can ask about um, when you're talking about your coaches. That can be done in any coach. We're going to walk downstairs because in a 44FL, uh, of course, one of the primary features for it is the kitchen. So we're going to walk down into the kitchen area. The 44FL is very popular for people who would like to have division of living space and also like to have a very large kitchen. But this does give you a very definite division between your living room and your kitchen area, but yet you can talk to people up there and you can hear them, but you have a totally separate space. They also did some tailoring down here. We're gonna talk about instead of having the buffet or having a table and chairs, they wanted a countertop. They wanted to have a bar style. So we did bar stools and a bar style top because they wanted to be looking out all the time. Also a place that they're going to sit and do some work. So the outlets were moved up so that they could have access to those. And then underneath they have storage. And of course, this also would house your outside entertainment center. So in the center, that those uh, cabinets would be housing the outside entertainment center and there'd be cabinets on each end. But this was a really unique feature and it turned out really well um, for them. So I wanted to show you that again with the wood balances. And of course the 44FL has the large kitchen. One of the things that they did that was most impressive to me when I saw it the first time, they didn't build all this cabinetry into the countertops or very low. We put a lot of windows in here and it's one of the features that makes people really fall in love with this coach is the amount of counter space that we have and also the amount of windows that go around this on both sides. So you get a lot of natural light into this coach and it feels very homey when you have it opened up and we're outside. They have a lot of cabinetry. This part is very standard. We have a lot of drawers. And of course, you can see our drawers. I always talk about them. They are solid wood. They are dovetailed. He not only dovetails it, he sands it, finishes it, seals it. 
The inside also, one of the unique features is that it's wood on the bottom. A lot of them, this part would be a like a panel board or a, a wall board instead of being wood on the bottom. Our glides go underneath. And that's important because what that does is keep the width of your drawer. So we don't lose width on the side of our drawers by putting them on there. And it also gives extra support underneath. And of course, all of our drawers are soft clothes. She did not have a dishwasher put in this one. And so this is where the dishwasher would normally go. There's a couple different features that you can have. So if you don't do a dishwasher, standard would be these two cabinet doors. And then on the inside, there would be a shelf. So it would be for storage. She opted to do a deep drawer. So this is an option that she did for pans. People like things that can come out. You can do tray or you can do a drawer. And again, you can see how nice these drawers are. One of the features that I talk to people about a lot is no matter where you put a drawer in our coach, whether it's in the bathroom, whether it's in the kitchen, whether it's in the bedroom, they're always gonna be this quality. We're never gonna use anything of a lesser quality The island in the 44FL is longer, so you have some space on both sides of the sink. This one has the standard sink, which sometimes is nice to point out. Most of them will put in a composite sink. They'll do a rectangle, or they'll do uh, the rectangle uh, stainless, or this is also a really good one to do the apron sink that we offer. Um, but this one is the standard double deep bowl stainless sink that we put in. And of course, all of them have the drawer with the divider. And this is nice to store your utensils. And they've got it tied down, so I can't get it out right. But underneath is where you store your panels. These are the covers for your sink. So it's always nice to have a place where you store these things when you take them off. So you can make this solid top, or you can have the panel or put the covers on it. On this side over here, um, when they come on this side of the counter, you can do some things too. This is normally if you bought the wine cooler. The wine cooler would go in here or it would go in at that end. Um, this is a standard build, so there's a deep cabinet here. For pots, pans, all of you people that carry the crock pots, the Insta pots, this is a great place for storage. This is also an area that we can alter. We have done this where it's dropped down and made a desk. Um, we've had this where this was left open so they could use it to uh, roll under and maybe put a waste can or do different things with it. So there's things here that you can do as well. We have outlets underneath so you have a lot of outlet access for the countertop. And over here, normally this would have been your coffee nook. Um, normally this would have a, just a small cabinet on top. It would be an open space with tile behind and an outlet. So you could set a coffee pot or a crock pot or anything in there. She chose to do a full pantry. So she closed this all in. This is a breaker box. Just so you know, that's not a, a deep storage. That's where a lot of the wiring comes up. It's our breaker box. But she wanted extra storage here and also on the top. Also, the nice thing about this coach is when it's actually closed up, if you're going down the road, you can come in here. Um, they, the refrigerator is on this side, and this slide comes in here. So you actually can get into this side of the refrigerator, and you can actually st stand here and make a sandwich or something if you like. Some people are always in question about that. So this one you actually could because this slide is back farther. You have overhead storage up here with a lot of storage. They also made this one so it's a flip up which is nice to have so it's easier to get into and the doors don't hit. And these are deep enough to hold plates. And then as you come back here, we're gonna go back into the bedroom area. So this coach is one that has a half bath. So the half bath is here. It has your sink, it has storage overneath, over the top of the toilet. Has a window in it. And, and again, this is an area that sometimes people will do some tailoring on, but that's where the half bath is. Then you have this, this is what I call a broom closet. Um, it's a deep, narrow closet that we have. Um, we are looking at doing some different things, a pull out drawer, possibly halfway back. 
Uh, some people will put adjustable shelves, but we put an outlet in it because of the people that high carry the Dyson or the Rocket Shark stick backs. They can put the motor here and plug it in so that they can power it and charge it while it's in the coach. And then of course your washer and dryer cabinet is right here. So this is easy access to get to. It's not in your bathroom, it's not in your bedroom, but it's right beside your bedroom. And then when you come back into the bedroom, you have a lot of walking space right here. And it's because we do a deep slide for the bed. We also do a deep slide for the closet. And so you have a lot of space up there. Uh, this one has actually the full size bed in it, or king bed in it, with the side pieces going down. They move their outlets up. Again, we have the wood valances. You have cabinetry over the top. And you have, we always have the barn doors, sliding doors that close off, close off the bedroom. And of course there's one that closes off the living room and the bathroom. All of these doors, no matter what doors you use, are always solid core doors. And so we never use a hollow core door, whether it's in a pocket door or whether it's in a barn door, okay? Um, one of the other things that I'd like to point out to you is this area. Uh, this area brings up a lot of questions. This area is open because when we close this up, the bed actually goes into this area. People often want to know why we don't have cabinet doors, something there. But this is a great area where a lot of our clients have become very creative and they use the decorative baskets and set in there to store things. They will put... Um, uh, a pad down and they'll set shoes in there. They've used it for a lot of different things, but I just wanted to explain why it didn't have doors on it because the bed actually closes in. That's how you get this amount of space between the bed and the closet. She also made a slight change here. These normally would have been overheads that flipped up. She took her closet doors on the end all the way up. So she had taller storage for her closet for her hanging items. And then you have, of course, this as well as a shirt closet size. So there are options, a few options that you can do here. We've had people put adjustable shelves in here so that they could store things. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of different tailoring pieces you could ask your rep about for this. And then when you come back into uh, the bathroom, you have a large vanity. Um, so you have a lot of space on either side. Uh, you have your outlet here. Um, so you have space on either side that you can set your items, uh, hairbrushes, toothbrushes. You still have a lot of storage items areas. So like I said, again, every drawer that we do is the same depth, the same styles, and they're all soft clothes. You have a linen closet here to be able to store your towels, shampoos, uh, laundry soaps, all those kind of things. We have a bank of drawers on the bottom. You have your narrow, your narrow doors on the side that you can use as medicine cabinets. So it's pretty deep. So you actually can store a lot here of, of your items for in the bathroom. One of the features that a lot of people like about and of course the big mirror the people like about this coach is the shower so this one has the panel shower this one does not have the standard uh, fiberglass one-piece shower they did the panel shower so these are the waterproof panel pieces that they put in it gives you have a lot of headroom here this is what a lot of the guys like about the 44 FL is because they don't have to use the skylight to be able to stand in the shower by using the panels you also get a lot a little more depth and you don't have seats coming out. The seat that's in this one is a teak seat and it can be lifted up and stored. So the shower gives you a lot more space, uh, a lot more arm room, and so, and of course, a lot more height. The toilet. Now that I say this, the toilets that we have this in here are the macerator toilets also. I wanted you to just notice that they have a little bit different 
um, profile to them. They're a little bit shorter. They're not as elongated as the standard ones we use. They are an electric flush, but these are the macerator ones, and they chose to do these in here because it gave them a little more room around the, sh around the sink area. Didn't come out as far right here. So a lot of people have opted to do those uh, because they feel they're more efficient for the black tanks and also because it gives them a little more room in the bathroom for, to walk around. The ceiling fan on this coach goes above the bed, which I love because the ceiling fans were always designed to be in the back of the coach, which this would have been back where the sofa would be if you had a different floor plan. But I love having it in the bedroom because we have people all the time ask us, can we put a ceiling fan in the bedroom? And you can't in a normal coach because it's too close. So in the 44FL, your ceiling fan is in the top. And I think that that pretty much has covered what we have in the 44FL. Um, I, if you have any questions, please call into the factory, ask for a factory rep to help you out with any questions that you have. And I hope this cleared up a few items, showed you uh, the big kitchen space and the uniqueness of this coach. Thank you.